In this video, I'm going to work through a typical word problem that involves exponents and logarithms. That would be finances. Let's say that you invest $500 into some kind of bank account, and that bank account earns a ridiculously high 6.75% interest, and it's compounded continuously. The question is this. How long is it going to take before your money is doubled? Well, the first thing we have to know is this. If this is compounded continuously, the equation we have to solve this is A is equal to P E to the R T, where A is the amount after any given time, P is the principal, that's how much you put in, that'd be $500 in this case, R is the interest rate, we need to make sure we put that in decimal form, so instead of 6.75 we're going to have to convert that, and T is the time, and that's what we're solving for, right? How long will it take? So in this equation, I need to be able to pull out these values. A, the amount that I'm interested in, is how long is it going to take to have $1,000? Well, the amount I put in is 500, and it's going to be equal to 500e to the r, which is 6.75%. Now I need to put that in decimal form, which means I need to write it as 0 0.0675, and we're solving for t. The question is, how do we get the t by itself? Well, the first step would be to isolate this e to this power, which means that I'll, right now I'm taking a 500 times. That means I need to divide by 500 first, both sides. Divide by 500, and I end up with this. 2 is equal to e to the point 0.0675t. By the way, before I go any further, if the question was how long would it take your money to triple, this would be a 3. If I said how long will it take your money to quadruple, this would be a 4. It's always going to end up being that. So now, how do I get, now that I've got e to this on the, on the right side, and I've got a 2 on the left, how do I get that t by itself? Well, the next step would be to take the natural log of both sides. Because I know if I do this, the natural log of e, those two kind of cancel out. And I'm left with this. The natural log of 2 is equal to 0 0.0675t. So I'm pretty close. The last step then is to take the natural log of 2 and divide it by 0 0.0675 because if I do that to both sides I've got the t by itself and t is going to be equal to whoops, the natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.0675 it's going to take about 10 and a quarter years squiggly lines, that means approximately 10.27 years. T is always measured in years, by the way. So that's a pretty typical problem. It's going to take 10 years before you double your money. So you know what? You might want to go find a job. Just an idea.